Hello PC Hockey fans, I'm Nick Rojas. The Friars are back from their road trip to North Dakota this past weekend, dropping Friday night's game, but they were able to leave Grand Forks on a positive note after a 2-2 tie coming off of Nick Saracino's last minute goal in the third period. We caught up with Nick Saracino as he talked about Saturday's game, and we get fans excited for this Friday's Halloween home opener against the 3-0 Boston University Terriers right here at Schneider Arena at 7 p.m., their first game against a Hockey East opponent this season. Let's start the show. Hi, I'm Nick Saracino, and you're watching This Week in Friars Hockey. The Friars traveled to North Dakota for the first time since the Reagan administration all the way back in 1987, and they were welcomed to Grand Forks for two games over the weekend. UND was able to top PC with a 6-1 win on Friday night behind goaltender Zane McIntyre's 22 saves. Saturday night featured an even more packed crowd at the Ralph Engelstead Arena with 11,500 fans showing up for the tilt. They were treated to a much tighter contest and less fireworks than the night before. Trailing by one with less than a minute to play, head coach Nate Lehman pulled John Gillies and the gamble paid off. Jake Wallman, making a terrific play to keep the puck in the offensive zone, fired off a shot at UND's McIntyre, and Nick Saracino found space in front of the net and deflected the game-tying goal to send it into overtime, where the score would remain the same and send the Friars home with a hard-fought tie. 2-2 Two -two was the final. And we're joined like we are every week by head coach Nate Lehman. Coach, how are you today? Good. All right, so you guys played a little bit of different games Friday and Saturday. What was the big difference you saw on your team between the two games? Well, I think the biggest difference is we weren't beating ourselves on Saturday. Uh, you know, North Dakota is a terrific team. Uh, they have a great defensive core, especially offensively. And uh, going into their building, 11,000 fans, and as rabid as it was up there, um, we, had to play a, we had to play a smart road game. And um, Friday, we didn't do that. We were taking a lot of long shifts. We were turning a lot of pucks over. Um, which really just allowed them to come at us in waves. A um, couple of real simple things that, um, you know, lessons that you don't want to be learning in games. You know, these are things that you, you talk about in preseason. But, um, you know, we, we were making a lot of mistakes on Friday, and we cleaned a lot of that up on Saturday. I thought we were playing terrific. I thought we probably should have won the game on Saturday. We had some great chances. Um, and I was really proud of the way we played Saturday. It was, it was good for our team to, to – see who they are um, you know we showed a lot of video to the guys yesterday of everything they did well on Saturday um, to try to get across to them this is what our identity is uh, this is who we are and this is how we have to play well, that certainly shows you guys can play well late in the last minute there you guys have a big game this Friday BU first hockey East game of the season how do you go about managing your guys's emotions heading into the big home opener well I, you know I hope they're emotional to be honest with you I mean um, because we haven't played at home yet this year in front of our crowd really and and that's going to be a great thing it's gonna be a fun thing you know our guys are looking forward to that we've been on the road we've been in everyone else's barn when it's packed and and everyone wants to kill us so you know now we get uh, our you know 3,000 fans uh, there helping us and, and giving us confidence along the way but it'll be a good game they're a good team they have a lot of freshmen that have stepped in and made a real big impact and we're going to need our fans all right and this friday is a costume contest what are the kids going to go this year as Halloween? my boys are going as dragons uh how to train a dragon 2 is is my oldest favorite movie so they both got dragon costumes about uh, about a month ago and they've been wearing them around the house about once a week right. uh, yeah that's certainly tough for that i was a lobster one year so <laughs> dragon is way way cooler um, yeah dragon's pretty cool it's pretty tough pretty mean you know got to be tough to be in the lehman household you know oh, absolutely yeah. well thank you so much coach for joining us today good luck this weekend all right Okay, I'm joined here by junior forward Nick Saracino. Nick, thanks for coming on the show. Thanks for having me. Of course. So uh, your goal with 39 seconds left in regulation, you tie up the game at two. Walk us through the sequence of events for that goal. Uh, well, our freshman defenseman, Jake Wellman, made a great play at the point, keeping the puck in, and uh, he just found a way to get the shot through, and I was there all alone and got a good tip on it. Yeah, I mean, it was a crazy angle went through, once you, you know, see the highlights, it went through a player's leg, insane. Now, I mean, you guys lose the night before, you know, 6-1, to one. you're about 40 seconds or so from dropping the second game of the weekend. How much do you think your goal meant to team morale leaving the weekend? 
It really helped. We uh, definitely thought we played a lot better Saturday night, and after getting blown out like that Friday, we really wanted we really wanted to win, and we thought we battled pretty hard all all uh, all game. So it, it was a it was a good to just get a point out of that weekend. Okay, a big game for you guys here Friday night against Boston University, first regular season home game of the season. What can fans expect from the Providence Friars on Friday night? We're excited. We're going to come out with a lot of energy. Uh, we know uh, it's our home opener, and uh, we uh, know these are big points for us because Hockey East is going to be real tight this year. Yeah, and lastly, you just were on the plane, you know, plane ride back and forth in North Dakota. Which teammate of yours is the last guy you want to hang with for a four-hour flight? I'd probably have to say Logan Day. Uh, sometimes really? he for, forgets a shower, and he's a pretty stinky <laughs> kid, so I yeah. wouldn't want to sit by him. Well, especially after two games. Yes. All right. Well, he's Nick Saracino. Nick, thanks so much for joining us Thank on the you. show. Good luck this weekend. This Friday at 7 is the game Friar fans have been waiting for. The first home game of the season at Schneider Arena, and it is the first Hockey East game of the year. Boston University comes to Providence for the first of two games in a home-and-home -home series with Saturday night's game taking place in Boston at the Aganis Arena. BU comes into the game undefeated at 3-0 after beating both Michigan and Michigan State at home last weekend. BU has played only one other Hockey East team this season, beating UMass by a score of 8-1 on October 10th. That being said, throw out all the stats when it comes to a Halloween home opener where anything can happen in front of a lively home crowd for the Friars. The game will be covered by Cox Sports on the Ocean State Network. And that'll do it for today's episode of This Week in Friars Hockey. I'd like to thank our guests, Nick Saracino and head coach Nate Lehman. Fans in attendance for this Friday's game are encouraged to wear their Halloween costumes for a costume contest. For more information, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, as well as Friars.com. From Schneider Arena, I'm Nick Rojas. Thanks for watching.